Hello! Back in the spring we shared a video on how to ensure there's always enough produce to put aside for those quieter times of the year. I'll pop a link to it down below. One of the questions raised by that video was, what's the best way to can or bottle your produce? Well, in this video we're going to answer that question and hopefully give you the confidence to try it for yourself. Canning, or bottling as it's also known, is a fantastic, cost-effective way to store garden produce. This low-tech method of preserving uses heat to kill off any microbes that might spoil the food. Then, as the jar cools, a vacuum seal is created that keeps the contents fresher for longer. This video explores the simplest method of canning, water bath canning, which can be used to can a wide variety of fruits, jams, pickled vegetables, salsas and tomatoes. The secret to successful canning is ensuring a strong seal between the jar and its lid, which if broken serves as an entry point to bacteria and mould. A loud hissing sound on opening a jar indicates a release of pressure from food that's turned bad. Mould, froth, discoloration and bad or unnatural smells are other warning signs. Water bath canning is great for foods with a high acid content, many fruits for instance. Vegetables are naturally low in acid, so must be pickled in a vinegar solution before canning in order to raise the acidity. This reduces any risk of botulism, a rare but serious illness caused by food that hasn't been processed correctly. Please follow recipes very carefully. To get canning you will need a large water bath canner or stock pot, a canning rack or towel to keep jars off the bottom of the pot, a jar lifter or canning tongs and a wide mouthed funnel. You'll also need a spatula, ladle, some dish towels and some canning or mason jars with accompanying lids and bands. Begin by cleaning the jars in hot soapy water then rinse. To fully sterilise the jars submerge them in water, bring the water to a boil then simmer for 10 minutes. Keep the jars hot until you're ready to fill them to prevent the glass cracking when the hot ingredients are added. Prepare the lids by soaking them in very hot but not boiling water. The bands need no preparation. If you didn't use your water bath canner or pot to sterilise your jars, get it ready now. Fill halfway with water, put it on the heat and bring the water up to a simmer. You're now ready to retrieve your hot jars and fill them with your chosen recipe. I'm canning the last of this season's beans. To each jar I'm adding a clove of crushed garlic, a half teaspoon each of chilli flakes and dill seeds and a tablespoon of pickling salt. If you can't find pickling salt you could use pure sea salt. Next the jars are packed with clean trimmed beans before a boiling hot solution of equal parts water and white or distilled vinegar is poured in leaving a gap at the top of about a quarter inch or one centimetre. Whatever the recipe, take a moment to release any air bubbles by sliding a spatula between the food and jar. If necessary, top up with a little more of the vinegar solution. Wipe clean the threads of each jar if there's been any splashback. Carefully place the hot lids, then screw on the bands firmly but not too tightly. Position the jars on the canning rack so they aren't touching then lower the rack into the simmering water or just place them onto a folded up towel laid at the base of the pot. The jars should lie about an inch or three centimetres below the surface. If needs be, top up with more water. Turn up the heat to bring the water to a rolling boil then continue boiling for the time stated in the recipe, in my case 10 minutes. When the time's up, turn off the heat and, after another 5 minutes has passed, remove the jars from the water and onto a dish towel. Now leave them be for 24 hours as they cool back down to room temperature. You may hear the lids pop or ping as the vacuum develops to create the seal. 
Once cooled, check that the lids have sealed by removing each band in turn, then pressing down on the center of the lid. There should be no give. If there is, refrigerate the jar and make sure to eat the contents within two weeks. Store the successfully sealed jars somewhere cool, dry and dark, where they should keep for at least a year. Once you get the hang of it, canning is a fantastic way of locking in that wonderful taste of summer. Give it a try for yourself, and why not share your creations with friends and loved ones as the perfect gift. Now perhaps you already have a favourite crop for canning, or perhaps a go-to recipe. If you do, let us know about it down below. Thanks very much for watching, and please check you've subscribed before you head off. I'll catch you next time.